Here today I'm going to show you why it's important to scrap big motors and get uh, lots of good copper. show you how to do it. This one here, I've already took it and uh, I've just grind it down the edge here. I'll pop her open. Cut all these apart here. We'll weigh it up and see how much uh, copper is inside of this. Imagine there's uh, quite a little bit. So here's a motor. What I did to remove the copper from this motor went around cut each one all the way around and just reach in and, and cut them boom 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 but I usually just hold on to them and cut them so they don't fly everywhere or you can just hold it right over a bucket cut it right into the bucket and then you just flip your motor over I just take a knife and just kind of run it around the edge just go all the way around the edge cut all these strings just makes life easier once you pull them all out. And then pull them all out. We'll wear it up here in a minute and see what we get. So that's all I do. Just get it started, you know, rip it open anywhere at all. Grab it with a pair of pliers. Hold it with one hand on the back and pull forwards at the front. You know, pull them all out. Sometimes the little pieces of plastic come with it. Pull those off. Even these little things right here. Cut them off. Throw them in your little drawer here. Save them up sell it as low copper still money small but adds up free money so this is what's left to our motor hunk of steel casing that's the same motor I showed you there a couple of videos ago that I got the silver out of and uh, the other good stuff that's the copper that I got out of it quite a little bit of copper let's wire it up here and see what we got I can't see it. Got about three pounds of copper out of that one motor. Number two, 285. There you go. Easy money. Plus the steel. It's not worth a lot, but it's got pounds there. Oh, happy scrapping.